Tesla CEO Elon Musk spoke out in opposition to President Joe Biden's signature economic package in early December, questioning the need for legislation that would support electric car adoption due to concerns that government spending is out of control. Elon Musk said he's against President Joe Biden's social and climate spending bill, pointing to his concerns about the insane federal deficit. Musk said recently during the Wall Street Journal's CEO Council Summit that he honestly prefers if the government would just pass this whole bill, saying that he recommends they won't pass the bill. The Build Back Better Act, which has passed in the House but has yet to go to the Senate, includes tax incentives of up to $12,500 for vehicles built by auto worker union members to spur consumer demand in electric vehicles. The Biden administration's efforts would reinstate a $7,500 federal credit for Tesla, which doesn't have union workers building cars, once again giving Tesla the same credits that other automakers are still eligible for. The Build Back Better Act follows Biden's infrastructure bill, which was newly signed into law. It includes $7.5 billion to build out the nation's electric vehicle charging stations, but Tesla has been operating without the standard $7,500 for nearly two years now and is doing just fine, Musk said. Musk also said that government funding for EV charging is unnecessary. Musk further stated that there is no need to support gas stations, so there's also no need to support a charging network. He also stated that he would delete it, literally saying to get rid of all subsidies, but also for oil and gas. The automobile mogul said the government should act more like a sports referee than a player on the field. Still, he conceded that U.S. cities need better airports and highways, and that self-driving cars, which Tesla is trying to develop but has not yet delivered, are likely to choke the highways with traffic in the future. Musk's stance would seem to conflict with Tesla's stated mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. But the last several years, the company has been competing at a disadvantage to other automakers marketing electric vehicles in the U.S. Tesla reached a limit for the number of vehicles that qualified for a U.S. $7,500 federal tax credit in mid-2018, while Biden's Build Back Better proposal would reinstate a U.S. $7,500 credit for Tesla and do away to any limit on the number of EVs that are eligible per manufacturer. It would also give consumers another $4,500 if the car is assembled by union workers. That would preserve a leg up for other automakers, since Musk has opposed the United Auto Workers' effort to organize Tesla's car plant in Fremont, California. As autonomous vehicles come to the fore, and it is easier to drive without going through the pain of having to drive, which is coming, it will be one of the biggest transformations ever in human civilization, and there will be more cars on the road. Traffic will get worse, Musk said. Musk's vision is to create a combination of double-decker freeways and tunnels to make room for more free-flowing traffic on the ground. One of Musk's startups, The Boring Company, builds tunnels, while Tesla provides electric cars that carry passengers through them. Speaking remotely from the factory Tesla has been building in Austin, Texas, Musk did acknowledge the U.S. could have better airports and highways, and better address traffic congestion in cities. He called for building some combination of double-decker freeways and tunnels. The latter suggestion would align with the mission of The Boring Company, the company he founded in 2016. Researchers have consistently observed induced demand that shows traffic intensifies and is not alleviated where new highway lanes are built. But Musk did not address this issue. Later in the discussion, Musk said that he is not an extreme libertarian against all government spending. He sees space and science programs, like sending a probe to Mars, as justified federal efforts. The value of that is a small amount of value for all citizens, but it would be inefficient to go and collect $10 from every citizen for a Mars probe. Therefore, it is better to have the government do something like a heavy science program, rather than try to collect a small amount of money from everyone, he said. Tesla benefited from a $465 million federal government loan in 2010, which the company paid back three years later. During the wide-ranging interview, Musk reiterated his view that flagging birth rates are one of the biggest risks to civilization, and asked if this is why he had so many children, Musk just smiled and replied that he is just trying to set a good example. Musk also said Tesla's forthcoming Cybertruck, which should reach volume production in 2023, could be the company's best product ever but warned it has a lot of new technology and is difficult to make. Elon Musk has sold more than $1 billion of stock over the past several weeks. Musk, the world's richest person on paper, has sold more than $1 billion of stock over the past several weeks. Yet he now owns even more shares of his electric car company than he did when he started selling. At the beginning of November, a media report says, an analysis by CNN of Musk's stock sale filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission shows Musk is not divesting his swath of holdings in his company, despite his promise to follow a Twitter poll to sell 10% of his stake. The reason, at the same time he is selling shares, some 10.1 million in total to date, he is also exercising options to buy more, and he's doing so at an exercise price of $6.24 a share, less than 1% of Tesla's current share price of $1,046. 
Since Musk's Twitter poll on November 6th, he has exercised options to buy 10.7 million shares of Tesla, something he had already planned to go forward with, irrespective of how Twitter panned out, since the options were due to expire by August 2022. Did Elon Musk keep his promise by selling Tesla stock? CEO Elon Musk isn't done selling shares of his company. Celebrating the Time Magazine Person of the Year award, he won by offloading another massive chunk of Tesla stock Monday. Musk still has millions of stock options that he needs to exercise by August 2022. He revealed at the 2021 Code Conference on September 28th that he would likely sell a large chunk of stock in the fourth quarter. Ever the showman, on November 6th, Musk asked his legions of Twitter followers to vote on whether or not he should sell a 10% chunk of his holdings in the electric car and solar business. In his Twitter poll, Musk wrote, Much is made lately of unrealized gains being a means of tax avoidance, so I propose selling 10% of my Tesla stock. Do you support this? He gave his tens of millions of followers the option of a yes or no vote and said that he would abide by the results, whichever way the poll went. Twitter's poll results display said that about 3.5 million responded, with 57.9% voting yes. Tesla's head had pledged to sell 10% of his Tesla stake, but his follow-through on that pledge may have cost the electric vehicle automaker its trillion-dollar value. Musk sold another 934,091 shares Monday, netting himself about $906.5 million to cover the taxes on the 2.1 million more options he took out earlier. Musk currently owns about $5 billion in federal income taxes on the new shares he has purchased since November 8th, as well as some state taxes, according to reports. Musk sold off Tesla stock specifically to cover that tax hit, according to the filings. Based on past activity, Musk will likely sell another 5.3 million of his newly acquired shares to cover his additional tax bill, though that will still leave him nearly 7 million more shares than he currently has. Musk has been vocal about his reasons for the stock sale, saying that pending tax increases on his unrealized capital gains is the reason he is cashing out. He has repeatedly gone after President Joe Biden for his policies, saying in September that Biden does not have the friendliest administration, after the White House did not invite Tesla to a carmaker summit. Besides Musk, Tesla execs including CFO Zachary Kirkhorn, Chief Accounting Officer Tanea Zibhav, and Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering Drew Buglino have also sold Tesla shares and exercised options in December. What do you think about these developments? Let us know what you think about them in the comment section below. Thanks.